Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And today we're gonna do all things cottage cheese. I have some amazing recipes utilizing cottage cheese and you'll never know that it's in there. These are protein packed, healthy recipes. We have everything from a dip to a couple of lunch and dinner options and even an incredible dessert, all using cottage cheese, but you'll never know it. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like cottage cheese because of the taste, the texture, you're gonna love today's video. So if you're excited, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because I upload five videos every week, and Sunday we always do something fun, like four cottage cheese recipes. And of course, down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized, customized macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, support, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website, which is where you will find all of today's recipes, and of course, my free Facebook group. Come join us, we would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for four amazing recipes packed with protein using cottage cheese. So the first recipe we're making is a million dollar chicken casserole. This is packed, and I mean packed with protein. So let me show you what you'll need. First you're going to need light butter, light cottage cheese, and light sour cream. I love Daisy Good Culture, and Daisy are my favorite cottage cheese. You'll also need a can of Healthy Request or fat-free, low-fat cream of chicken soup, one cup of breadcrumbs, shredded chicken. You can cook your own chicken, shred it up. I just bought mine pre-shredded, ready to go some one third less fat cream cheese, green onions, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. So to make our casserole, I have my oven preheating to 350. I have one cup of low fat cottage cheese, one third cup light sour cream, one can of healthy request or low fat cream of chicken soup, four ounces of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to just kind of mix that together. I just want to get that cream cheese mixed in really well. So it's not just a big clump in the bowl. And then I'm going to add my garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Then I have my chicken here. I'm gonna kind of break that up because these are pretty big chunks. And like I said, if you make it from scratch, just shred your chicken pretty fine. And then I'm adding in about a half of a cup of chopped up green onions. And then we're going to mix this all together. And then you're going to spread your mixture in a nine by 13 baking dish on the bottom. You can also put this into a two quart square baking dish, whatever your preference. And then I have my one cup of bread crumbs. I'm going to add in my melted butter. It was an eighth of a cup of melted butter and we're going to mix that in with our bread crumbs. And then that's the topping for our casserole. So we're just going to sprinkle that right on top. And then this is going into our 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes or so. We just want to make sure that it's cooked through. Our chicken's already cooked, so it's really just warming it through. Look at how amazing this looks. I added a couple tablespoons of chopped up green onions to the top. What an amazing meal, lunch or dinner, lots of protein, super easy to make. I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. We have to have a cottage cheese dessert and I'm so excited for this. We're doing mini protein cheesecakes. Now you can use protein powder or not. Even if you don't, there's still a lot of protein in here, but I'm going to go ahead and add in some protein powder. So let me show you what you'll need. Of course, you're going to need low-fat cottage cheese and low-fat cream cheese. And then for protein powder, I'm using Clean Simple Eats Simply Vanilla. This is my favorite protein powder brand. Clean Simple Eats, as you know, is my go-to. It's 100% grass-fed whey, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. It bakes beautifully. This is a no-bake recipe, but even if you had to cook with this protein powder, it's fantastic. So we're going to use that. Powdered sugar alternative of your choice. Lemon juice, a quarter cup of water. Unflavored gelatin. And then for topping, I'm going to do the no sugar added cherry pie filling. The recipe says you can do nuts, fresh fruit, whatever your preference is. So let's make some mini cheesecakes. 
So I added my one quarter cup of water and two and a half teaspoons of gelatin to a bowl. We're going to basically let this sit until it's bloomed. So to make our cheesecake super simple, love that this is no bake in the heat. So I'm going to add half of a cup of powdered sugar alternative, one cup of cottage cheese, eight ounces or one full package of low fat cream cheese at room temperature. One scoop of my Clean Simple Eats vanilla protein. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below for you. I do have a discount with them. And then about three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then using your mixer, mix until combined. I put my gelatin in the microwave for 15 seconds on high. You just want to make sure it's fully dissolved. And then once it's cooled, go ahead and add it to your mixture. And then on high, beat it for about 30 seconds. And then I'm using ramekins. I bought these on Amazon, I'll link them for you. You can use a jar, whatever you would like, but we're going to divide the cream cheese mixture, the cheesecake mixture, I should say, by four. So go ahead and add it even amounts to each of your ramekins. And then with whatever toppings you're using, again, you could use nuts, you can use fresh fruit. We're going to top each one of our little mini cheesecakes. I decided to go ahead and use cherry pie filling. Actually, Troy wanted cherry cheesecake, so that's why I went with the cherry pie filling. Look at how amazing these look. You do want to put these in the fridge for a couple hours so that the cheesecake itself can set completely. But what a perfect dessert and literally packed with protein. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Our next recipe is a cottage cheese dill dip. So you could use this for vegetables, chips. You could even use this as a condiment on a wrapper sandwich. I'm really excited to make this. I love dill in anything. So let me show you what you'll need. So you'll need low fat cottage cheese of your choice, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, dried dill. You could probably use fresh dill also, salt and pepper, green onions, and fresh parsley. So for this dip, it is so easy, so packed with protein, so much flavor. I added one cup of cottage cheese to my blender cup. You could use an immersion blender, a full-size blender, whatever you have, but you are going to blend this up. I'm going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a dash of garlic powder, a teaspoon of dried dill, and just a dash of pepper. A couple of tablespoons of chopped green onion and a couple of tablespoons of snipped parsley. And then we're going to pop the lid on and blend it until smooth. So I did end up adding just a dash of milk. It was just a little too thick to blend, but now we have the perfect dip consistency. So here is the cottage cheese dip. I will tell you this tastes amazing, really fresh with those herbs in there. I also added just a pinch of salt. I thought that it needed that little bit of salt. Really good. You do want to put this in the refrigerator for an hour before serving. For a protein packed lunch or dinner, we're making hamburger, cheese bake. This is going to be loaded with protein and fiber. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need a pound of 93% or 96% ground beef, a red onion, light sour cream, tomato sauce, salt and pepper, pasta of your choice. Of course, I'm using my fiber gourmet, light penne. I love this pasta. It's half the calories half the points of regular pasta, 110 calories, 24 grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein per serving. It tastes just like regular pasta. You just get a lot more fiber and protein, so it's a much healthier option. I do buy that off of Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount. I will link it down below for you. You'll also need low-fat cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese, one third less fat cream cheese, and then for fresh veggies, we need green onions, parsley and a green bell pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is cook our ground beef. So I have my pound of 93% and then I'm going to add my diced up onion. And we're just gonna cook this until our ground beef is browned and our onions are softened. So I have my fiber gourmet pasta cooking per package instruction. So I added my drained and rinsed pound of ground beef and onions to a bowl. I'm then going to add a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, garlic powder and salt and pepper. And 
and then stir to combine. Into a medium bowl, I'm adding eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese, one cup of cottage cheese, my diced up green pepper, and my diced up green onions. And then you're just going to stir this until everything is mixed together. I have my meat mixture here and we're basically just setting both of these aside until our pasta is cooked through. So we are ready to assemble. I've got my oven preheated to 350. So I'm going to put about half of my noodles in the bottom of my baking dish. And then we're going to top our noodles with about half of our meat mixture, so just kind of spread that on top. This is a layer dish, kind of like we're making a lasagna. And then we have our cottage cheese mixture. We're going to put all of that right on top of the meat mixture. And again, just kind of spread that out. And then our remaining noodles and our remaining meat sauce. And then we're topping it with a couple tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're going into a 350 degree oven uncovered for 30 minutes. So I was putting everything away. <laughs> Don't be like me and realize I forgot to put in the sour cream. It's only a quarter of a cup, but it actually gets added to the cottage cheese cream cheese mixture. So it will be included in the original recipe and mine just isn't going to have it. So here is the pasta. It literally smells like lasagna. Troy said, oh, it's just like lasagna with different noodles. And he's kind of right. I mean, we use cottage cheese in replacement of ricotta cheese, but I'm really excited for this. Like I said, it looks amazing. It's layered, it smells amazing. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Hope you enjoyed seeing all four recipes utilizing cottage cheese. Like I said, even if you hate it, you are going to love these recipes. You'll never know that it's in there. Don't forget all four of today's recipes and all of my recipes in general are on my website. I We'll have that at the top of the description box as well as nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and of course don't forget come join our facebook group we would love to have you thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye